Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and right now, we approach to the conference finals, in between the Eastern and Western Conference. One of each teams will be heading to the finals, and win the whole thing. Who will it be? Find out after the NBA playoffs, in between the games. It's coming up next, after this. <laughs> Well, this is Game 5 of the Eastern Conference Finals, as this may be the only time to take it back to the Miami here of the Heat and Bucks. This is maybe the toughest game I've always have ever seen here since, since we have seen the first game that the Bucks win, and I'm thinking that Miami Heat can be in the next one to try to face it on against the Golden State Warriors. Last time they already played against the against the Suns, and the Suns are eliminated. So with that, the next one could be in there. That's correct. So we are about to find out who will be heading towards the NBA Finals in for the Eastern Conference section. Will it be the Bucks or with the Heat to advance over towards the the NBA Finals to face against the Golden State Warriors, or will it be the Bucks? to stop carrying things here from winning streak and then head towards game six here at Pfizer.fora. Well, we're not sure what we'll be doing here, but you might have an only opportunity chance if you got a great deals in between. Uh, I felt it might be a lot that hard if we could try to like go right towards the one. We might never know what will happen. So with that, We'll see how this one goes. Now let's get you over to the commentators in the line of Ryan Anderson, along with the 2K Sports crew, and we will get you back here for the halftime show and post-game show. So game five, ready for action. Enjoy your next to last game in this part of the conference finals. And we will be back here for the Stanley Cup playoffs for the conference finals in between the two. So let's get started. Here's the second finalist here. Finalist number three as, is as we have that one cut out. Here's number three. Lalo. This Duplay. one's Lalo Dupla. I, I was really drawn to this one for one. I like the logo that he used, but I also just like the overall design. It reminded me of like a superhero, and like you know, to some people, basketball players are superheroes. So perfect. All right. So he doesn't have a team name, Corey. So what would you name this team based on this superhero jersey? Maybe the All-American Heroes, that could be a cool name. As long as their superpowers are getting wins, I think they'll be okay. How could you go wrong with that? And finally, last one. And here's the last one, one number in the jersey four. design contest is... We have this Dotcation game it's jersey designed by Two, 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 one, Two, one, one. What can you tell us about this? I really love the colorways of this jersey, like the sand on the bottom half and, you know, the beach vibes going up on the top half. It all comes together for one piece. It's kind of like art. It's pretty awesome that you can take a theme like a vacation and actually make a jersey that represents all of that and more. It's just insane. 
Well, Corey, thanks so much and for that. That should TV. end it here. Now Time for Ryan Anderson, to, Anderson to head you uh, over to Miami really to get to started. Guys, all yours. Man. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. And a peek into the locker room. Players soaking in the last few moments before the game. Some final preparations here. Check out the lights and activity on Ocean Drive in Miami, Florida. Almost enough to distract you from the action on the way. Happy to have you with us for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Alan LaForce is our reporter. Taking a look at some numbers here for him. And for an idea of where his offense is right now, take a look at his true shooting percentage decreasing over the last five games. He desperately needs to find his stroke tonight. Before we get going here, we have time for a pregame courtside report. Allie LaForce, it's all yours. Thank you, Brian. Jimmy Butler has a single-minded focus. He said, I don't need an MVP. I don't care about anybody's opinion. No trophy means anything except for the Larry O'Brien. I want to be a champion. I mean that. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win. I don't doubt it, Allie. Thanks very much. And Clark, the speed and athleticism from these teams, that's something that'll shape this game. Yeah, Key matchups in between in Chris Middleton and, and Jimmy Butler. Transition will be on full display in this one. Help defense will have their hands full, especially because these guys have players that are so hard to contain one-on-one. -on -one. Now let's take a look at the Bucks' opening lineup. The foundation of this team, Middleton and Giannis, the three and the four. Wesley Matthews out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the five, down low. And for Miami, at the forward slots, Butler and Tucker. Manning the backcourt, it's Lowry and Robinson. And it's Adebayo in at the five spot. Tucker brings a double team. Three-pointer is up. Middleton Chris gets Middleton. the three to fall. Number three. Well, there's a good reason this guy shoots as many threes as he does. Chris Middleton is a knockdown three-point shooter. Lowry against Holiday. Outside Robinson. Duncan Robinson! Three! These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom! Now here's Middleton. His scoring ability is impressive. Averaging 20 a game. Shot from 16. And the ball goes out of the Ball. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Lowry against Holiday. Pass to Tucker. Outside Butler. Driving in. No good. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. Yeah, we know that on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. And you know, one of the things about missing free throws is not only are you not getting points yourself, but it allows the other team to maintain momentum or keep a rally going. That's a foul on Milwaukee Bucks. Number 11, Brooke Lopez. It's Brooke Sports Law. First. First team count. At the line, number 17, B.J. Tucker. Taking two shots. The first one falls. You know, it's said that the only thing Tucker is more obsessed with than on court success is his sneaker game. I heard that he literally has hundreds of pairs of sneakers. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Holiday finds out of the Kumpo. Oh, 
Oh, they get a hand on it. Hand stolen by Adebayo. Here's Butler. You Two, three, Butler! It just seems as though Butler enjoys scoring through contact more. Welcomes the challenge of converting in difficult circumstances. Now here's Middleton. And there's the call. Oh, that's a foul. Legal screen. screen. Number 34, Giannis Anacupo. His first personal second team foul. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Here's Butler. An effective score for them. Scoring around 21 and a half points a game. And here's Holiday. Stop the run. And Holiday Drew covers Holland. it home. So he's like an eel slipping into the paint. Drew Holiday glides past the other guys and gets himself right to the bucket. Now here's Lowry. He had a 15-point alley in their last game against Boston. Also, his ability to push the action and get to the line made a huge difference. Pass to Robinson. Shot clock at five. The shot, no good. The Bucks trail. About three minutes gone in the first quarter on the wing holiday from outside the arc. It's hauled in by the Heat. Now here's Butler. Three points for three him against Butler. And another key for them was his BJ Tucker. Timeout call. I'm a Milwaukee. Of every game in every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Who wants a free t-shirt? Makes the ball! So far right now, we haven't seen the Bucks and the Heat playing the regular season. So far, we have seen it on real TV, but not for this one. We might be seeing this one for the next season if they can try to, like, keep the range out of sight in, in between the zone of Bucks and the heat. Well, I might be going for the, uh, a great decision here. And maybe the only one to give it that one a single regular call. And maybe the only one may be tough for them to try to slow things down. We may never know if this will happen again. Let's uh, see what they can do if they can try to keep the momentum out there to put it back on the deck. We'll be right back with you here. For the halftime show, after the first quarter it comes to a complete and second quarter to completion. And the Heat with some changes. Now, now we do changes for, for Miami Heat. Number 13, Tyler Hero. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Portis, he's checked in for Chris. And Victor Oladipo. Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Allen in for Matthews. Nora, counted by Adebayo. The offensive rebound. Here's Portis. Another shot. Misses at the rim. Well, you gotta miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. Inside, here's Hero. And he's Hero! He's really a great playmaker. Cheers, me, Butler! Butler can play point forward. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Drops in the layup for two. Getting out. the ball inside, usually a pretty good recipe. Pass to Martin. Hero on the wing. Now out of bio. Outside Butler. Back to Martin. Shoots over Portis. Martin misses. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Here's Nora. Here's Portis. Back to Connaughton. The three hits the trifecta. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. For three, Oladipo. Victor Depot. Three. It looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Holiday. And 
so the first quarter is in That's the it's the first quarter. It's the Heat. Hit. 14. And Milwaukee we'll Tech. We'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Down shooting nights will happen, but Giannis says the Bucks will continue to play the right way. Keep shooting, man. Keep making plays. Keep finding the open man. And uh, obviously, the ball will go in eventually. Uh, you know, it's a season that there's going to be games that you you not going to play your best, uh, you're not going to knock down shots. But at the end of the day, we find ways to win and uh, got to keep shooting the ball. Got to keep shooting the ball. Hey, no doubt, they can always lean on their defense. And we know the Bucks are strong enough at that end. I mean, they can scrap out wins even when they struggle to score. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. Let's quickly break Somebody's down. messing up on Portis Jr. It's simple. The main takes Tyler Hero. This game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second. Pat Connaughton is out there with Serge Ibaka. Then there's Drew Holiday. Then there's Grayson Allen. And it's Portis in at the center. Now here's Adebayo. Here's Truce. Yes. Sex. Picking up the assist. And there's always been dialogue between NBA officials and the coaches and players. Some concern that it's gotten too chippy of late, Clark. It's not a good look. No, it's not a good look, and you certainly have to recognize the fact that both sides are humans and emotions are going to run hot at times. Uh, the league has rules about how you engage with officials. Um, I think you should actually have some give and take, but it should be toned down from what it has been recently. So it's Miami now. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Time to Three! Victor Oladipo. Allen with it, guarded by Adebayo. Let's a floater go. Rebound by the Heat. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. Pass to Struess. Here's Adebayo. He's covered by Holiday. Here's Oladipo. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Bucks have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. You know, when you talk about Oladipo, hard not to start with his disrupted defense. I mean, I think it's been his calling card since he stepped foot in the league. Here's Connaughton providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Oladipo, the pass to Hero. Out of bio with it. Oladipo outside. Gets it to Victor Oladipo. Of course, Oladipo made the all defensive first team in 2018. Yeah, you know, he's really good on the ball and he's an incredible off the ball. Timeout. Milwaukee. Passing lanes. Takes charges when he slides over and helps side defenses and not afraid to give up his body. And the Bucks call time here. He's failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. These percentage of the shots are like all they have. Jimmy Butler and those teams are like, they want to crush out these Suns, but it's too late for them right now. They are out already in the conference finals. And it looks like they're going to take out the next team defending champions here for last season, last uh, year's finals winner. And it could be the Bucks. Well, it might be happening out there if the other team could be the upset. We know that the number one seed team of the Western Conference are gone, but not for this one. There is a lot of toughness that they can bring things on here like they have never done it before. Another team first seed has never gotten the chance to be eliminated. A big group substitution here for Miami. No Tucker substitution for Miami. Miami Heat. Butler Number 17, P.J. Tucker. For Oladipo. Number 7, Kyle Lowry. And the Bucks and will go for a different look here. Number 55, Tucker. Robinson. Anacupo comes in for Ibaka. Middleton Smart. is checked in for Connaughton. And Brooke it's Matthews Lopez. in for Allen. The Heat have gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. Holiday against Lowry. Pass to Robinson. 
from 10 feet away. Two minutes in the first half. Now Holiday. We've got a minute 48 left in the half. Aggressive move that time by Holiday. He's the engine that makes this offense turn. Miami's gone three or four from distance in this game. Pass to Robinson. Here's Struess. Eight points in his last time out. Oh. Duncan Robinson! He's got five points. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Outside Holiday. Here's on the Kumpo. Giannis. On the Kumpo. With the jam. Boy, that is some kind of hit on basketball from Holiday. He does not sleep on the wide open man and found him perfectly. Pass to Struess. Down low. Here's Tucker. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Great timing on Lopez's part there to spot down that attempt. Here's Matthews. And here's Middleton. 4-3, that one falls, nice speed that time for from three. Holiday. Holiday's Drew got Holiday. three assists tonight. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. Pass to Lowry. 29 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Truce. So it'll be two free throws. Milwaukee foul, number 22, shooting. Chris Middleton, his first personal. First team foul. Out of line for Miami. The line. Number 22. Max Struess. Out of line for two. Number 31, I meant. And the first one at the line is good. Norris now new changes for, for Milwaukee. Number 13, Jordan Nor. And so he makes both from the line. 23 seconds left in the first half. Holiday up top. He's guarded by Lowry. Holiday against Lowry. Pass to Matthews. Back to Holiday. And Lowry. That's the end of the first half. And so Miami 27. With a and Milwaukee 21. Close of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well, that's why they're up. And don't go far, we'll be right back. It's a 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, I gotta say right now, it looks like the Miami Heats are like in a great, great place that they have ever have done it to be. It's exactly true. Every day of the go, you've ever seen that play coming in from the drive. It's all they have. Let's have a recap look here one more time. And for you, it might be fun. With all that happens to be Milwaukee, it was very tough to see how they've done. What do you think of their efforts so far? It was very tough enough for me to try to figure things out. It may be tough one. They could try to come back in there, and maybe they should try to keep it going. Eyes on the pride. How about for you, Senate Beats for Miami Heat? Oh, they're playing pressure. Like pros, they've already got done out there like before. Even with my time of business can be the only way to try to go face to face with the attack. I'd like to see this one for next season. And that's your two here for the halftime show. Stick around for the post game show after this game. Back to you guys. Even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one. As both teams trying to gain an edge. How about Tyler Hero displaying all of his skills today? Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. 
Manning the backcourt, it's Lowry and Robinson. At the forward slots, Butler and Tucker. And it's Adebayo in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Now here's Robinson. Six to shoot. And here's Lowry from the... Talented shooter who doesn't hesitate on his shots. Holiday passes to Ow! Oh, Howard. Oh, wow. Boy, looking to add to his highlight reel that time. The big fella, Lopez, showing you a little extra athletic ability for a big guy. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Pass to Butler. Out of bio against Lopez. Touch around the bucket. Holiday passes to Anna Kumpo. Now here's Holiday. That one doesn't drop. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. Lowry outside. Outside Butler. The three is up. Middleton. Middleton. Middleton finishing it off. I like seeing Middleton throw it down like that. Well, he's a great athlete and he finishes with a little style, too. Back to Lowry. Here's Adebayo. Left side, Tucker. He can't get it to go. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Their first miss after hitting three straight shots, but I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. Holiday finds Middleton. Puts it up from 12. Rebound by the Heat. Now there's an example of good defense beating good offense. And Miami time out here. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, BA. Well, the players on two-way contracts getting expanded opportunities last season after the league eliminated the 50-game cap and permitted them to take part in the playoffs. The pandemic played a role, but guys, teams are continuing to find contributors among these scrappy young players. Well, it's all about opportunity, Allie. Thanks. We'll keep your eyes on this one here when we come back. The NBA Eastern Conference Finals is brought to you by Adidas. Impossible is nothing. Ruffles, official chip of the NBA. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Talk to your agent today at 1 800 State Farm. A different look for Miami. Oladipo's checking out. I'm checking in for Miami Heat. Number four, Victor Oladipo. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Ibaka comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Connaughton, he's checked in for Matthews. And it's Allen in for Drew Holiday. And now. Hey. Four points in the quarter. On fire. To Jim, Bain, Butler. Five from the field. Oladipo against Middleton. Here's Collinson. Here's Ibaka. Another one falls for Milwaukee. Now Lowry. Pass to Oladipo. Victor Oladipo! This game can do a lot of damage and a lot of damage. Two in the purple. Now here's Middleton. Give him eight. Out to the wing. Here's Collinson. He's guarded by Hero. Here's Collinson. Over to the wing. That's one violation. Second violation. Miami. Heat ball. Live for the NBA. 
Grant, as a player, how tough is it to adapt to a new coach? Well, it depends on the timing. I mean, an off-season change gives the team a time to get used to a new system. Now, if it happens in mid-season, it can be a little tough. The learning curve is definitely steep. And the Bucks making a change here. New Orleans checked in. Now here's Lowry. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Hero outside. Outside for Butler. Here's Oladipo. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Collinson. Pass to Portis. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got six rebounds in the game. Oladipo, the pass to Adebayo. Lowry outside. Here's Hero. It's rebounded by Ibaka. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Nora, no good. Miami has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. And it's Butler off the drive. Cheers! In the B! Butler! Butler! And Butler's ball skills now pretty tight for a wing guy. He's excellent at creating for himself on offense. Now here's Ibaka. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Soft search, Ibaka. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. Hero outside. Pass to Oladipo. And that's the end of the fourth quarter. Miami 8, 41. And Milwaukee Bucks 29. Point lead at quarter's end. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. We'll be back in a moment. And meanwhile, Eric Spolster rallying the troops. Put together three or four stops in a row. Concentrate on good basketball right now. Pressing it down to these next few minutes. Eric Spolstra asking his guys to focus in defensively. Yeah, talking to each other. Defense! Defense! They're on time if they want to lock it down. And one quarter to go. Giannis, on the game on the to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the floor for Milwaukee starting the fourth quarter. Giannis plays the four with Lopez in the middle. Drew Holiday out there with Grayson Allen. And it's Nora in a small forward. Now here's Hero. Back to Robinson. Tucker inside. Covered by Lopez. Hero! This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out. Richard Vowell, uh, my Miami. Number 55, Duncan Robinson. His first. Matthews checking First team foul. Checking in for Milwaukee Bucks. Number 23, Wesley Matthews. Lopez. Able to just go right over the top. I mean, the big man, Lopez, doing work. Miami has gone 6 of 8 from the three-point line of this matchup. Hero on the wing. Back to Lowry. Tucker with the ball. Guarded now by Holiday. Here's Lowry. Rebounded by Lopez. Every player goes through this. When your shots are going down, you can dig your confidence. Back to out of the Kumpo. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. And for Miami, they're shooting it well. Around 55% for the game. Okay, Robinson! Defensively, you keep Martin! Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Now here's Lowry. Pass to Martin. 
Back to Lowry. Here's Martin, covered by Lopez. Rejected by Anacupo. Uh, you know, B.J. Tucker. He's athletic and Giannis plays the game hard. That's all about time. Milwaukee. Oh, Number 44, Giannis Anacupo. Going here so far for the He's heat. first personal. Boy, First the team has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both games. More than a few of their passes have come off assists. P.J. Tucker. And they continue to fill it up from three-point range, making it look easy. And that one misses. The Bucks have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. The three is up. Hey, two. He's made me. Talk about Butler. Three. Now he's got great energy every time he's on the court, and he's been unguardable tonight. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. And the jam. Giannis Ana de Kumpo. Doing what he can to help shrink the deficit, but it has to be a team effort. Outside Butler. Two minutes in fourth quarter. Pass to Adebayo. Here's Butler. Back to Lowry. Five on the clock. Over Holiday. And Kyle Lowry. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start Yachts. using that clock. Out of Google. Hey, he's showing us the handles a little bit right there. All the way to the rack. And with the statement finish, too. Don't know how you stop that, man. You don't. I mean, as a defender, you got to just stash that one in the memory bank and make sure it doesn't burn you the next time. Back to Lowry. And the PJ Tucker got four points in the quarter. And the timeout point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Heat. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, BA. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And it's another win for this team. 54 victories for them this year. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Jimmy Butler. The scoring effort from him, unreal. Carrying this team, I mean, he was amazing tonight. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Man, is that something you'd like to see? You know, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace a team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Drew Holiday. Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the three ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. A line change here for Miami, and the Bucks will go for a different look here. Ibaka, he's checked in for Lopez. Anacumpo comes in for Anacumpo. Carter, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Hill in for Holiday. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, you Miami know, you foul that. on the floor. He's number eight. For his effort, he's pursuing the ball. He's first, first of all. Second team foul. And a line shooting two for Milwaukee. Number 43. Take to Sonny Taking one shot. One shot. One shot. And that one falls for Honor Kumpo. So it's Miami now. Pass to Struess. The three. Doesn't go that time. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Hill the pass to Ibaka. Back to Hill. 
36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Ibaka. And that one's good. Serge nice Ibaka. Nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. And Ibaka is a fighter. Someone who enjoys the physicality of the game and attacking defenses. Pass to Vincent. Here's Struess. That's a foul on Milwaukee. So he'll take two from the free Number throw line. Number seven, Javon Carter. His first personal line for Team Vals. At the free throw line for Miami, Max Struess. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Sub again for Milwaukee, number 13, Jordan Noir. It's both from the stripe. Now here's Carter. He's covered closely. And that's the game! Even early on in this Miami! Game. 57! And Milwaukee. Once they 42. started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Jimmy, it has been a match made in heaven here in Miami. Does this feel like home for you yet? It does, man. I love this city. Um, I think this city loves me as well. And I want, I want a championship here. We got a long way to go, but um, it's possible. The city loves you back, Jimmy. Thanks so much. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. So long, everybody. And I have to tell you this one. Miami Heat are in the finals to take on against the Golden State Warriors in 2K22. What do you think of this game? It's kind of coming along there really well. Well, I'm not really confident with that one because if, if uh, everything happens to be a changing thing, that may be uh, a quick fact. So I have nothing else to say about this one. Well, we got a lot of them down. So it looks like we will be sticking you around here later here for the NBA Finals to take things on for. And if we have a moment of shine ability, we might be heading things over to the commentators here for tonight for Kevin Arlen and the, uh, along with the EA Sports crew. That will be our first Game 1 in Game 2 will be me and you, Son of Beast. That would be a great one to have it all. <laughs> I, I made two things every time already. Maybe, maybe I'll give that one a good thought. Well, you can definitely go for that one. A tough one, inbounding ever. Time to close the free star players of the game. Starting off with you, Son of Beast. All right, so let's have a look here. Number three, we have a definite to bring things on. Giannis Antetokounmpo with 10 points, three rebounds, and only made a block. Bree Dunks has performed. What a stoppage run. He made a slowdown to try to keep the momentum going. Here's number two for me, phone. All right, I will take it over here. Let's see who we have next. Number two. This one goes to the other one that we have. Tyler Hero. Ten points, one assist. And he made just the right amount of his time. Only 13 breaths performed. Now for number one, I call it for the winner of this league, turned out to be the best. Son of Beast, it's Jimmy Butler. 12 points, one rebound, two assists, and one steal. What a great job he did, and he's happy for his team on 2K22 to move on to the finals. To face against the Golden State Warriors, might be a heavy match up here. So the first game and second one will be happening towards here at Chase Center to start at the first one down there in the Pacific Coast of the team. 
And then game three and four will be here at the FTX Arena. That will be the next stop for their location to give this thing a worthy credit run to give it another world. And for that one, I guess that does end up for the conference finals of the game. I hope you all enjoyed here of the NBA, but not for the NHL, because we have still a couple of matchups coming in in between Avs and Flames, and then the Rangers against the Florida Panthers here in between the two zones. So with that one, we still got a long way down to finish the game here for the season. It may be tough for the band, but don't be worried. We'll be back soon as we can. So this has been a presentation of the NBA Conference Finals. So as we stick around here for later, after the NHL, we will head you over to the NBA Finals of 2K22, the Warriors and Heat. Maybe a lots of fun in this match up here, but we will never know when it comes down to this. In between the two, in between the hands. So, thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone for a while as the NBA Conference Finals of 2K22 Dial. Thank you, and have a wonderful night. Miami Vice, and for the fear deer of the next season of Milwaukee Bucks. Somebody